What's going on everyone? It's Dr. Bob. The new year is here. We're making new year resolutions, new year goals. One thing that I highly stress as a household, um, because I've learned it uh, the easy way and the hard way through business, is you have to have a budget. You have to understand money coming in, you have to understand what your money is going out. Even if the money coming in changes, you have to understand what's going out so that you can relate to what's coming in. It's smart economics, it's smart for businesses, it's smart for healthcare. All corporations do it, most businesses do it. Your household should do it in order to be successful in what you need. So the normal, like so much for your car. When you go to buy a new car, you kind of look at, okay, what can I afford? That's your budget. Your house, when you go to buy a new house or you're trying to realize that it's you're in a, a house debt, you have to change. So this is what budgets do and you can see where you're spending your money. For example, your food on a weekly basis to monthly basis, but also restaurants. We gotta allow ourselves to eat out. Insurance, car insurance, house insurance, health insurance, sometimes if you're self-employed like myself, but also health and wellness. A couple years back, uh, this made sense to us. Orange Theory had just opened. We started, I started going there. I was doing CrossFit, which are both pretty expensive gyms. And we were at New Year's Eve and the one guy said, are you crazy? He was like, that's like $300 that you're spending just on gyms and healthcare. I said, yeah. I said, my health is worth it. My body is worth it. So I'm gonna make sure that I fit that into my budget because my wife also has certain gyms. Why wouldn't you? Like out of all things that I'm investing in, protecting my car for what, five years, four years, and then I'm gonna sell it again versus my body, my temple, my house that I have to live in for my entire life, you bet your butt that I'm gonna be investing a lot of money on a, on a monthly basis. So I ask you, do you have this into your budget? Are you factoring in your some, now don't think about insurance because that kind of sucks that we have to pay money and a lot of times it's not covered the way it should because they don't cover wellness and keeping our bodies strong, keeping our minds strong. They cover when you get sick, the health and wellness. Do you have money budgeted for your chiropractic care, for your wellness care, for your workouts, for your mental health, which is under the workouts? All these different things that continue to keep you healthy and strong rather than waiting until you get sick and now you're in a deep rut and now we have to rely on health insurance and we know how that goes. So uh, if you have any questions, let me know, but I'd love to hear your input on what you're setting as your budget and if you're aware of the budget, what it should be for your health and wellness um, to stay strong in the new year, 2019.